Fripp Island has a golf and beach resort, and the marketing communications director is with us now, Hannah Nichols. Hi. <laughs> Hannah, excited to hear about the resort that you sh just shared with me has actually been in existence for many, many years, the 70s, you said. That's correct. We were founded in the 70s, and we've kind of passed hands a couple times, but we're currently a privately owned resort and club. So before we actually talk about the amenities, the resort itself, tell us about Fripp Island. How big is it? How beautiful is it? Sure. What is the beach like? So it's gorgeous. Um, we're right at the end of Highway 21. So if you just keep driving past Hunting Island, you'll get there eventually. Okay. <laughs> um, we do have a private island kind of mentality. Mm -hmm. So um, you have to be staying with us, but it's a gorgeous nature habitat. Mm -hmm. uh, we are a wildlife preserve, mm -hmm. over 3,000 acres, I believe. Don't quote me on that if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, but we do have three and a half miles of beach that are all gorgeous. Christine. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's specifically talk about the resort, obviously, pool, dining, bar. So go into all the details. Sure. Um, our amenities are offered to our guests and to our club members. We have two 18-hole championship golf courses. There's Ocean Point, which is Oceanside, and then there's something called Ocean Creek, which is more on the marsh. Um, both of them are absolutely thrilling to play. And we have a professional racket club that you can come take tennis lessons. We just just this month actually unveiled our six brand new pickleball courts okay, so you can cool. enjoy america's fastest growing sport right. <laughs> uh, we have seven restaurants we yeah. have five outdoor pool complexes and to help with the nature stewardship aspect we have a activity and nature center where we just this year again unveiled our brand new gator enclosure um, we have two resident alligators, Savannah and Veranda. <laughs> okay. They are six years old, and no. you can come see them in there. How big are they? They actually aren't that big. Okay. They're about this. Oh, okay. And um, they moved outside because they were too big for their indoor enclosure. So we're actually, fun fact, the only South Carolina permit holder to mm -hmm. maintain gators of this size outdoors. Oh, wow. And is it a family resort or is it more for couples? We're or? definitely family friendly. A lot of our activities are family oriented and based on generations of people coming and enjoying the amenities. So how did the resort fare during COVID? Where are you now with occupancy and when would be the best time to, to make a visit? Right, for sure. We've definitely seen a change in travel, but luckily for us, we haven't dipped any. We met, We went more from like long distance travelers coming through plane to people kind of staycationing more, people maybe coming from Beaufort. So it's been really exciting to see that shift because it's kind of stayed the same demographic. It's still families, it's still uh, generations of people just coming from different places. Occupancy, we're doing really well, um, but I think the best time to come personally is fall. Yes. It's cooler, there's fewer bugs, it's a lot easier traffic wise to get here. All of those types of things. So I'm thinking I'm going back to the pools for a moment. Sure. Is there like an like if, if my husband and I wanted to go and we really didn't want to be around kids, is there a place for more? Is there a pool for adults? We do have an adult pool and it has an outdoor bar. <laughs> I mean, I love kids, but <laughs> yeah. Um, so our most popular pool is definitely the family pool. Um, it's called the Cabana Club, and we've got three tiny pools inside that large complex with like a misting cavern and a lagoon. That's fun. Um, but for adults, there is an adult pool next to the beach club that's right there on the beach and there's a bar. And so the pickleball, you said that you have brand new pickleball court. Yeah. And, and I didn't realize it was the fastest growing spot. I know it's becoming more and more popular. Definitely. Pickleball's huge um, among our guests and our residents. So they were very excited to see those new courts and we were too. And so if someone wants to make a reservation, probably September would be... September's said, good. October's gorgeous in okay. the low country. You know that, absolutely. Yes, yes. Um, but definitely September, October, November even can be really fun. And your website is... FrippIslandResort.com. FrippIslandResort.com. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Anna Nichols, appreciate you being with us. Of and course. And I might just have to take a little trip over there. Maybe JP too, our videographer. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we'll be right back with North of the Broad.